Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about reverb pyramid. Reverberation is a problem a lot of uh, larger rooms have. Reflections off these wall surfaces, churches, uh, big problem in churches. Uh, it has a direct effect on speech intelligibility and how many words in a sentence we can understand and hear. It's how long the sound stays around in a room after it's been spoken, played, okay? It just hangs out in the room. And it, it does that for a multiplicity of reasons, but it's mainly due to the reflections off all the wall surfaces area. So just for purposes of discussion, you know, this may or may not be an accurate number, but I want you to kind of visualize the problem first, and then we can talk about solutions. Each surface area is about 17%. You take six surface areas in a room, divide it into 100, you're going to get around 17%. The numerical number that we use for reverberation is, you know, the RT60, 30, and 60, which is really a decay rate. Once the sound is struck, played, or spoken, or sung, how long does it hang out in the room? And, and that's, you know, a measure of the decay uh, of the energy, okay? The decay is frequency dependent. We can have reverb at different octave bands throughout the whole room, and this is what a lot of people don't understand. And the frequency and amplitude of those is different on each wall. So you have to be really careful when you run numbers and you do your analysis in these large rooms that the treatment that you're prescribing for that particular surface area takes all of that frequency and amplitude differential into consideration. Okay? So we got to match the treatment to the octave bands on that particular wall surface. A lot of churches today have bands up front a lot of people in the congregation, in the audience. So there's going to be different energy levels all the way around. And you have to match those problems that those energy levels are producing at those surface areas with the right rate and level of treatment. Okay. So we kind of break this high active brand into highs, mids, and lowers. You know, low is the 125, you know, start point, mids. 125 to 500 and then you know the highs anything above 500 and then we look at the treatment that goes with it okay so if we're just dealing with high frequency reverberation in in our pyramid so to speak you know a two inch foam technology is more than sufficient to deal with it if you get enough surface area it's all about surface area coverage you have to have the right rate and level and you have to have enough of it I see so many churches, I see so many large rooms with a few panels here and a few panels here. They're one inch thick. It's not going to work. And that's the reason they're calling, because it didn't work. Okay. So if we're going to go after the mids, uh, in, we're going to look at a four inch maybe. And then we're going to look at maybe six inches, you know, around the band, if we're just using our foam technology. A lot of uh, larger room facilities, they don't have the budget to treat the real low frequencies in the room. So we're going to use foam to try to get as much as we can, you know, above that 125 uh, psycho mark. So we got to remember that it's all about rate and level. Mm -hmm. We got to have a rate and level that's conducive for music and voice, especially with reverberation times and especially with speech intelligibility. Speech intelligibility is defined as how many words in a 10-word sentence you can hear. We choose, we try to get 80, 90 percent intelligibility ratings in our rooms because that's the product of a church. That's the product of a large room. If you're going into a concert, you want to hear the music. You want to hear the spoken or the sung word, right? Remember, it's all about coverage, square footage of coverage. Most of these large venues take 50 to 65 percent surface area coverage on each surface area. And this is a budget breaker, I get it. But you have to have the coverage in order to get the complete resolution that you're after in the room. Every person that's seated in the, in the, on the floor, let's take a church for example, is about the equivalent of 12 square feet of carpet. So if we've got 200 people on the floor in a congregation, we're usually pretty good with that particular surface area. But remember, there's five others that are contributing to the problem. There's the four walls and the ceiling. So we have to look at the total picture, develop a sound strategy. What are we trying to accomplish? And then use tactics to treat that each wall surface. The reverb pyramid, different layers, 
of frequency and amplitude require different treatment. I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.